Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Imanshu from Salesforce Makes Sense and we'll continue understanding database operations. In the last video, we took a look at understanding and just inserting an account record or, a multi or multiple account records with partial processing. Now let's try to insert a task record associated to an account. Right. The reason I have picked up these two use cases here so that along with the database operations, I can also explain you what ID versus the who ID concept. Okay, because that was a concern in one of the trigger videos that I had. Okay, so inserting a task record associated to an account. Now, what does that mean? That means if you go to an account, I can create tasks, right? If I take a look at, let's say, open activities, and if I go to a new task, I can create a task and assign that task for a particular account. See, I can assign it to someone, I can put a subject here, I can add a status, I can associate it to a contact or a lead and I can also relate it to one of the objects here. Okay, I can put a priority, I can add comments, I can make it a recurrence task, I can put a reminder and I, all of that can be done. Okay, but if you notice there are two fields here. One is the related to field and the other one is the name field. Okay, the related to field shows you objects like account, opportunity, right? And the name field shows you objects like contact and lead. All right. And if you take a look at the object structure on task, if I go to setup, or let's take a look at from here, if I open the task object, what, you, what you'll notice is, let me just open it from here as well. Tasks, task fields. So what you'll notice is that you have two special fields here. One is the related to field that we just saw. And the other is the who field, which is the name field that we saw name and then related to. So a lot of people are confused with these two fields, the what ID and the who ID. Okay. I'll clear that out in the next two videos. Don't worry. All right. Now, before understanding that, let's go back to our actual use case, which is our, which is understanding how to insert a task. Okay. So I'll get rid of these extra spaces and I'll create a new method static void create task and link with account. Okay, this is my new method and I want to basically create a task and I want to associate my task to an account. What does that mean? That means that a corporate company is created in the system, let's say, and they have onboarded 5000 employees. So what is the task for the corporate company to give the employees onboarding resources? right whatever they need to kickstart whatever whatever they need to head start in terms of joining the company right so let's say there are seven video resources there are five documentations there are three training manuals and there are 45 documents to sign okay so tasks will be created they will be assigned to someone and they will be related to the account make sense right so i want to create that use case here and i want to basically insert a task okay so let's say task task record equals new task right and we looked at this particular type of nomenclature wherein you can just you know put your use your constructor and put all your fields here correct now this time let's use the other way around i'll say task record dot first of all what is the mandate what are the mandatory fields here that you see if you go back to let's say account and you try to create a task related to it let's see what are the mandatory fields fourth account open activities, new task. So subject is mandatory, right? So let's provide a subject here. So I'll say subject equals follow up. All right, that's my first field. Let's go ahead and try to save it. The second thing is if you see, I if you, if you put the dot operator here, you see all the fields showing up, right? I'll use the status field. I'll say not started. How am I putting these values? Because I know these values are on the picklist list dropdowns because I have worked with this fields a lot, right? So if I go to subject, you'll see call, email, send letter, send code, follow up is available. All right. If I go to, let's say status, not started is available. Okay. I can take a look at priority. I'll put the priority as normal. So let's go ahead and say task record dot priority equals normal. So these three values I've put hard coded the values. Now I need to link this task with an account, correct? So I'll say task record dot account ID. 
you see account id is showing up but that's not what we are looking at we are looking at a specific field which is this field right here the related to field correct so i'll use the what id i'll just show you here so if i say dot what id this is the field that i want to populate and this will contain a account id okay and this will this is what will take care of linking the task to the account okay now where do i get the account from let's say our use case is that the account that the account name will be provided to the method method okay so what will we do we'll basically query it out so we'll say list of account acc account to link equals i'll just simply put the query here select id from account where name equals account name limit one what have i done here just take a look for those of you who have seen the sockel saucel who have understood uh, best practices that we discussed what have i done here first of all let me just fix the spelling so I'm, my method is accepting one parameter that parameter would be the name of the account right what am i doing i need to link the task record with an account id right because the linking works on the record id so i need the id correct that's why i need to query it i cannot directly link the name of the account because you need the unique record id to link it so i'm saying find me the account whose name is the account name that's provided to the method how do you bind variables in a sockle query by using the colon operator colon symbol okay when name equals this value how will this evaluate this will replace itself by the value that has come as part of the method and i'm saying i just need one account correct why have i put a list here if i just need one account can i not directly put account i can but what's the problem with that think 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 what is the problem with putting just account account to link yes if the query does not return any results you will get a null pointer exception remember the my favorite keyword we discussed null that will come up but if you use a list the null will not come up you can actually just check the size of your list so what we'll do here we'll say if account to link dot size equal to equal to one what does that mean that means that the system was able to find a account record from that query so i can simply say that the what id should be whatever has come in the list sorry whatever has come in that account to link list and whatever is the zeroth index because the size is one it will always have the zeroth parameter dot id which is this id field that i'm trying to link which is the record id of the account record makes sense okay now if i try to save it this this should save up fine and what i'll do is i'll go ahead and say insert task record save save okay now with that understanding let's try to execute it okay let's see what happens this time handle database operations dot create task and link with account execute so i executed the method without passing a parameter so it's saying your method does not exist that's the error so i'll just pass the name here so i'll say fourth account that's the name and that's the same name that is part of this account right the account that we are looking at let's cancel this from here and let's go back and look at fourth account there are no activities currently associated okay let's go ahead and now say execute executed fine we got a success log down below let's quickly take a look at this screen and refresh our page on the account level the refresh is taking time but if you notice now there's one task that has been created and that's a follow up task and it is related to which account the fourth account okay it's marked not started the priority is normal and the fields is po have populated here okay so we were able to create a task and link it with an account now if i were to try creating an account let me before this show you the list of tasks so i'll say id comma subject comma priority comma status comma what id comma who id from task order by created date 
desk limit 5. Let's execute this query. So you see that our task that we just created, right, is showing up here. And there's only one task in the system. Okay. Now let's say I want to hit this method and this time I want to put a name of an account that does not exist in the system. Let's say I put a different account. Okay. Corp LLC private limited. I know this account does not exist in the system. Let's go ahead and execute. What happens? No errors because we put this check here. Correct. So this database query was not able to find any account for sure. So this was empty. So size equal to equal to one was false. So this linking was not happened. However, is it mandatory to link an account or the what ID? No, you can create an independent open task. Okay, you can do that. So if I now refresh my query grid, you will see that another task has been created, but it does not have a what ID. Okay, so the task got created and no errors or exceptions. Why? Because we put the relevant checks. All right. So that is how you link your account or you were able to link your account by using what which field on the task record the what ID field. All right. Another thing if you take a look at the subject list and if I just go ahead and take a look at this list this list does not have the follow up word right. However, it is an open list you can actually put any subject that you want. Okay, if I say talk to a stranger. This is for sure not in the pick list. Okay, so the subject is an open ended pick list. You can actually choose whatever you want and you can link it. I'll just go ahead and say execute. You'll see that the task is created and it will have the subject talk to a stranger. Why? Because the pick list does not restrict you from choosing one of those four or five values. You can actually put any subject that you want. Okay, so that's available on the subject pick list. So don't think that subject is a restricted pick list. It's not. All right, let's take a look at the query now we should have three tasks so we have three tasks this one is talk to a stranger okay awesome that is all from this particular use case i will continue understanding how to associate a task record with a contact in the next one bye